Hello and welcome back. In this video I will be talking about um, the recent developments on the new CNC machine and uh, we'll be taking a look at its first movements. Now this is probably um, the part that I've been looking forward to the most. Um, for a start, the complete machine is basically done. I mean, there's no tools yet, uh, but the x-axis is complete, the y-axis is complete. Um, everything measures in OK. Everything is very sturdy. Um, everything moves the way I expect it to move, uh, which doesn't always happen, but sometimes. Um, and uh, all in all, I'm very happy with the result that I have right now. Um, the gantry uh, is very solid. Uh, it is very easy to set up, uh, which was one of the uh, things that I was aiming for. Um, I can exchange motors. Um, everything is pretty much standard. Uh, there is a very low count of um, special parts. Um, the only thing that is special um, are the steppers, uh, the pulleys, and the linear bearings. Um, everything else, except for the 3D printed parts, of course, I was able to get at our local Home Depot. So um, that's a pretty good start. Um, regarding the rapid prototyping of this, well, I know this hasn't been rapid, but um, if you have a look at the excess parts that I've been printing and everything on here is basically wrong. Uh, it's either the wrong size, the wrong thickness, 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 the wrong height. Um, all of these parts are uh, garbage. So this may be called rapid prototyping, but it's more or less rapid trial and error. Now, this is what it looks like uh, when the table is on. Uh, you can actually see that I now have a very good uh, distance between table and gantry. It's uh, 14 millimeters, just <laughs> as I designed it to be. And uh, you can see that the uh, tension of the timing belt is also very good. Uh, if I need to ten, if I need to apply more tension, uh, I can just um, expand these these threaded rods, and it will take the uh, gantry apart. Everything will still be held in place, okay, um, but it will increase the tension on the belt, and I can do that for a number of times before I have to take it back apart, put everything back together again, and reset the screws. Um, I've taken one of my rather simple controllers that I have for my other projects and uh, I've prepared it to get it hooked up to this. Um, I'm going to be driving the stepper motors um, in bipolar mode and uh, it's going to work and, and I can use the, uh, the simple step sticks um, and uh, that should be working okay. Um, but I will also uh, make a board for this that will be using unipolar drivers uh, that will be very cheap and I think everybody will be able to get those parts. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up everything else. For now, uh, this is what it looks like. I surely hope that it's going to move um, and it's, uh, that it's going to run okay. Uh, and from then on, it will be time to think of uh, making a tool for this. But let's first see if it will move at all. Oh, 
Okay, let's try and take this real machine for a test drive. I prepared um, some simple test movements. Um, by the way, I hooked it up to a pretty standard controller with, uh, with uh, step sticks and I hooked everything up to a 16 volt uh, notebook power supply and I didn't attach anything but the steppers and uh, I uploaded a very simple um, NC controller and basically all it can do is uh, do very simple linear movements. Um, there's no Z-axis connected yet and uh, that will be the next thing to do. But it's moving and it's moving pretty nicely too. Um, I'll do a relatively uh, simple G1 move um, on the x-axis to uh, 15 centimeters which is almost all the way around and that's actually working pretty nicely um, we can use standard G0 uh, to get back and that will be a bit faster. Um, that is also the fastest stepping that I'm able to use now. Uh, I figured out that the steppers that I was using are 12 volt unipolar and uh, in order to use them as bipolar I would have to have a 24 volt power supply or even better uh, something like 36 volts and uh, I don't have that and I'm going to use uh, the other steppers that I have but for now uh, this is okay or I might going back to the steppers I might actually use a unipolar controller for a start um, but right now it's moving and that's what I want to get at um, I can try to move it um, a bit faster um, we could do I, another G1 movement um, to 80 millimeters and uh, have it moving a bit faster and that didn't work typo so that's working too and uh, I've got a little um, a little uh, plot prepared and I can just uh, replay that to see how it's moving. 